Good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are. Uh, this is Dr. Yunis. I am going to go over um, anti social personality disorder, um, starting by saying that I am using DSM 5 TR for my source. And I also wanted to start by saying that anti social personality disorder is one of the other mental health conditions. Um, so anti personality, anti social personality disorder is going to be characterized by a pattern of disregard for violation, um, and violation, uh, of the rights of others. So, so you, I will talk about what some of the symptoms that you're going to see, um, especially in a client that is dealing with anti social, um, personality disorder. One of the other things that DSM-5 TR talks about is that um, the onset of the symptoms, uh, the symptoms have to be present since age 15, but it is antisocial personality disorder is not diagnosed until the child or the individual is 18 years. So just wanted to highlight that. So when it comes to the symptoms, you're talking about the disregard for social norms. Um, so somebody who has or who is dealing with a ASPD is going to have a disregard for social norms and rules um, and usually uh, often manifesting in behavior such as being deceitful, um, repeatedly lying about things and re and disregarding um, their safety or the safety of other people so a lot of lies um, disregard rules social norms and um, you know safety for others so um, so imagine a, so a child or an adult um, that is routinely lying to other people whether it is family members whether it's colleagues um, continues to manipulate others to achieve personal gain and showing no remorse for their actions. And even if it harms others or violates others, um, you know, policies or safety, they don't show any remorse, but they continue to do that repeatedly. So this, the other symptom is the impulsivity and irresponsibility so the client or the patient with ASPD will demonstrate impulsivity and irresponsibility in various areas of their lives um, including work you know their financial obligations our work commitments and even when it comes to interpersonal relationships so this person um you know who engages in very reckless behavior such as excessive spending money um continues to use substance abuse and or risky um encounters including sexual activities and they don't consider the consequences for themselves or even other people so that's what you're talking about, the impuls uh, impulsivity as well as irresponsibility. And so the other symptom that we're going to talk about here is the uh, lack of empathy and remorse. So I talked about the remorse part in the beginning where when I talked about the disregard for social norms. Um, actually, this happens to be the hallmark feature for antisocial personality disorder. This is lack of empathy and remorse for harm. When they harm other people and they cause other people pain, um, they don't show any remorse. They don't have empathy um, even after they know that they are responsible. So you could have a partner who is your boyfriend or your girlfriend or even your husband and they don't show concern for your feelings or your well-being for their, you know, even if you're hurting 
uh, they continue to exploit you and they continue to manipulate you for their own personal gain and they don't feel guilt or regret even when confronted with consequences of their behavior so i wanted to mention that you know just like you say that if you have somebody like that they kind of almost feel like the narcissistic uh some of the symptoms actually mirror the narcissistic um symptoms and so one of the things that i'm gonna talk about is um you know when it comes to treatment uh there's you know psychotherapy cognitive behavioral therapy dbt psychodynamic therapy might help the client and as well as um somebody to be helped to cope with these uh with the symptoms um so definitely psychotherapy i would work with the client to make sure that they establish um the underlying issues that are probably causing uh the symptoms to be elevated uh when it comes to medication i just want to say that you know there is no medication for personality disorders and you know we might use a medication if the client um other core occurring um disorders that may be related to depression or anxiety might be medicated but for uh, the antisocial personality disorder there will be no medication so just uh, medication to help with depression and anxiety if those are some of the other symptoms that are co-occurring with this disease so for psychotherapy as, as i said we use cbt die uh lectical behavior therapy and psychodynamic therapy and this is really to just address the maladaptive thought patterns improve impulse control and foster empathy and insight for whoever is dealing with this disorder so thank you again for listening to me i really appreciate you watching my videos as i said i have to give a disclaimer as i have always done my videos are not meant to be used for diagnosis this is not a diagnostic procedure this is just for your studies if you're wanting to learn about these diseases you know maybe just in a summarized way so that you can um, memorize the symptoms the key symptoms so that you in a test you can be able to answer that is what i recommend this video for so share my video like press uh, subscribe and uh, give me a comment down there if you have any question so thank you very much for watching